Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Om and this week we are recreating my logo gift for this channel. Let's get started. YouTube says that your logo has to be 800 by 800 pixels. pixels. So in Photoshop, go to File, New and select Custom and type 800 length by 800 width and make sure it pixels are selected. Go, then go to file, place embedded and find the image you want to, to use, you want to use and hit enter. You may need to resize it like I have. Before we start, you need to make sure that you have the timeline window open at the bottom of the page. If you don't, go to windows and make sure timeline is ticked. At the bottom, click on create timeline which will automatically import the images from the layers. First thing I'm going to do is change the frame rate by clicking on this button on the right here and then selecting and then clicking on set timeline frame rate. From here you'll get a pop-up window where you can use the range where you can use a range of defaults or type in your own. I'm going to use 25 frames per second. Next, zoom out to view the whole timeline. Using the mouse, you can click on the edge of the layer to drag out to increase the length of the clip. I'm going to drag mine out to 10 seconds for now. Earlier, I made this glitch effect over 19 frames to help create a loop. I'm going to create a new folder and drop these layers into it to have a clean layer window. This is something really simple to do. I've just gone frame by frame, selected an area and imported a color and gone to the next frame and changed it. Next, I'm going to drag and drop in my logos into this file and resize if necessary. Once I'm happy with the position, I'm going to have my old logo turn off and my new logo come in, like here. Now, I just need to make sure the glitch effect covers the cut here, not so harsh, like here. Okay, mm, it kind of works, but it's too fast for you to appreciate it. I'm going to increase the length of the start logo and then the end logo to make sure it looks better, like this. Once you're happy with it, you need to save it as a gift. Go to File, Save for Web, Brackets Legacy. This will take you to a new pop-up window. At the top of the window, there is a preset menu. Select GIF128. Next, under Color, select 256. At the bottom of the window, change the looping option menu to forever and hit save. This will bring you to a new pop-up window and save the GIF to where you'd like. And you're done. It's that simple. As always, thanks for everything guys. Hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.